Hi everyone, it's Gail and I'm here with the week six Marguerite Miller challenge. I've already taken my page out and so I can set my book aside while we work on it. But uh, first let's say hi and hugs to Edie, S, Jennifer and Stephanie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Um, after we do the collage today, I have some things on my desk that I want to finish up slash start. I just have all sorts of things on my desk that need t attention. So let's do this first. Um, this one is a bit of a toughie. So where's my little thing? It's um, pick a room in a home, real or imagined. Find at least three images of things that could go in the room and create a collage with them. So, <laughs> okay. Um, these are needlework hangings, so those could go in a room. So I'm just going to leave my, leave my back. I have this uh, picture out of a magazine of blankets. I also have this image of um, framed pictures of people, like maybe relatives or something. Um, and then, oh yeah, and then I have in my sticker book, I have these awesome clocks and I thought that could go in a room, but then I also grabbed, these are quilt remnants from my friend that, um, the quilt she made me is actually in my bedroom. And I don't know, I was thinking the colors are similar. It might be kind of fun to put that on as maybe just a little extra piece or something. Maybe, maybe we go right there with it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. I don't know. This this one was tough for me. It's like give me the give me this five or six things and um I'll go hunting for them. But have it open ended and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh goodness. So anyway, we're just gonna go for it here. Nothing to do but go for it. So those will go back into my scraps my fabric scraps it was so easy to find these because i reorganized my scraps look at how well those colors go together like i don't know i'm not sure that that magazine page is going to hold up great going over that so can i put it here i don't know I'm going to get this worked in because we need to do that. I'll save these little pieces of coffee dyed paper for stamping on. Maybe not that one. That's a teeny weeny. Don't know if I have a stamp that small. Okay, so I hope you're all having a good day. I am so far. I've been really working in my craft room. Um, we did the lace yesterday, you know, and I've been continuing to work on that. I will do a video here soon showing you how I set that up, but I want to kind of finish. Oh, we could put it under though, couldn't we? Um, when I finish getting my, I'm kind of doing a major overhaul on my craft room. And so... Yeah, it's a little, it's a little crazy. I kind of like that showing through. So let's see. And then you could maybe be like that. And I could run the clock up there, I think. Okay, we're going for it. I have lots of other things to do today. So we're not going to dilly-dally about getting this put down. <laughs> Dilly dally direct from quote from my mom, Kale, with dilly dallying. Even though I'm the 
Energizer Bunny and go 100 miles an hour. Gail, quit dilly-dallying. It was probably something I didn't want to do, like clean or something. <laughs> I have been known. I have been known to dilly dally. I apologize in retrospect, Mom. Go. Okay. Okay, that's down. Okay. Oh, I meant to film my Fabri-Tac. I never remember. I'm so bad about that. So I think I'll use Fabri-Tac and we'll just go up the side of this. Oh, yeah. So um, beautiful day here, sunny and decently warm for winter. I took, um, I had a journal to get in the mail to its new home and went out and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to fit in a walk today. It's lovely out here, just lovely. So, okay, you are gonna go right there, I'm right on the edge of the paper, kind of. Okay. I've got, let me get a paper towel um, because I've got a little bit right up here that needs to come off of there. Um, so some of the rearranging I'm doing is kind of making it, uh, making a better spot for my mixed media. I'm thinking about getting a whole nother camera um, set up for that, I think I might do it. Um, I hesitate to spend the money on another camera setup, but I think it'd be easier than taking this down and moving it and, you know. But um, I thought I'd like to have a space where I can do my mixed media without like moving everything or covering everything for my journal making. And I have room, so I'm like, I should probably just do it. Okay, my clock. No, I'm this this one. Um this one is speaking to me. So, this is the Ant Antiquarian sticker book. Uh, so, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little more glue on this. Just to give it a little extra sticking power. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I think I'll put my, my this <laughs> right here. Um, and I think I'm going to, once again, use Fabri-Tac on it because it's going to be attached to the fabric. And that's it, really. Three, three, three images and create a collage with them. I kind of added the, I added the, um, fabric because, and specifically quilted fabric, because I was just kind of thinking of my, the room I had in my head was my bedroom. We have an alarm clock in our bedroom, not a grandfather clock, <laughs> but, um, and we have pictures of relatives all over the place. So that's kind of, that's kind of where I was going with this one. I'll go right about there and smoosh that down a bit. Okay, well, there you go. And I love what's kind of peeking out from the back of the page, too. 
my pal Frida, she did a great job putting this book together. So there you have it. There's week six, just like that. How long did that take us? Ten minutes. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that was good. Okay, I'm just going to pick this up a bit. Let's, let's put it into our book. Where'd our book go back here? Oh my gosh, you guys, the next page. I'll show you in just a second. Let me get this in. Just gonna pop it in the rings here. Put the rings together. Look at the next page. I don't think I can cover that. So, depending on what the next prompts are, I'm either going to go around the edges or something, but that has to stay there. Even if I have to go to the next page, which I could, because I love that picture. It's from the Velveteen Rabbit, judging from the back of the page. Okay, cool. And I kind of love these colors with this. So that's a happy accident, too. Okay. Week six, Marguerite Miller is in the books. Okay, let's get rid of this sticker book. Don't need that. Okay, so this journal, this big old journal that I did at my retreat is not quite where I want it to be as of yet because the backs of the pages are white. And so I want to do a bit of stenciling. And then I'll have this finished off and it can go into my Etsy. Now I'm going to use my stencils from Kathy Holden. I absolutely adore these stencils. I love everything she does, let's be honest. <laughs> And so, anyway, um, I was thinking we would use some of these. These, you can get them at iStencils.com. Um, okay, the game ones I'm not going to use. I know that. I'm not going to use that one. Oh, that one's cute. That one's really cute. I love all the... English looking ones. Holden's roasted coffee. Probably not in this journal. That's a maybe. Not that one. Not that one. Just kind of have to choose the ones that are going to go with. Obviously, not a Christmas wreath that really will go with this particular journal. I definitely will. So I'm not thumbing through them as we go. That one will go. That one will go. Not that one. Not that one. Um, no. And no. Okay. So we have a little stack here to work with. I have my Victorian velvet out. Uh, distress oxide and then there's my vintage photo too I like the two of those together so let's see what would we like on this one um, let's just let's just take the one off the top let's just use this I noticed one of my stencils has black on it and I don't want to use that with my pink because it might it might do some, um, you know, mixing and not be good. So, ah, I know there's probably distress ink in this one and distress and this distress oxide in my ink because I have used it before. So I hope you don't mind just doing this and doing a little, you know, just chatting while I'm working on this book I just want to get it 
want to get it done. I'm kind of, as I said, I took one journal to the mail today. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. And um, I just, you know, want to get them to their homes. I My plan is to kind of um, put one in my shop a day or so. Uh, we're going to my son's house. Yes, isn't that pretty? Can't really tell it's there when you do that, just down here a little bit. So, yeah, that's that's fine for that one. Um, anyway, um, I don't like to have physical items in my shop when I'm traveling. Okay, we need something here. And I think one of these little signs would be nice here. Um, like this or, ooh, let's, ooh, ooh, I can't decide. <laughs> I'm going to use that one. Um, I love her packaging. Just love everything about these. Because, you know, it's easy to get the, get the, um, stencils back in to the packaging, which isn't always the case. Okay, we're going to miss a little of the stencil, but not too much. So, um, yeah, so anyway. And then I have another project over there that I'd like to do, which is a sort of a, what would you call it, a follow-up project from sorting the lace. Um, so that would be good too. Oh goodness, the heat's on. I'm in my sweatshirt. I'm in my high and hugs sweatshirt today. So comfy. Okay. Yep. Put that there. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily go around the edges of the paper. I'm okay with just having a little design in back because there are some white pages in this. And, and as you might remember, this was a journal kit that came from Dreams, etc. And so these papers were in the kit. Okay, this guy needs a little something around his edges. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> I could use a little something around my edges. I don't know about you. Okay, this is perfect. I'm just gonna use this part. So, yeah. Oh. Okay. So, I think I'll just kind of put that right there. Just a little something to create it up a little bit. Okay. There's that. Do I want? We could put a little down the side here. Let's see what it turns out to be. We'll give it a whirl. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, there's that one. That I'm fine with. There's a bunch of texture and the sewing, so I'm okay with that. It's really just the, the kit pages. This one has a giant pocket on it, so it's okay. This one too, but we can see that part. So, I wonder if I could, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the top of this one on this one. I think. Let's see. I don't know what I did before these makeup brushes. I guess I just, you know, dabbed my, oops, I dabbed my um, ink dauber into and then just pounced it kind of. I think that's what I must have done.
So we watch, you know what? I'm going to go down here with those, just kind of continue that pattern down. Um, we watched an interesting movie. Um, it, let's see, it was on Prime and it was called, oh yeah, 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 that's good. 127 Days and about, it's a true story and you know how I love true stories. Although it was hard to watch in places, but about this guy that got um, in a bad situation, let's just say, um, hiking. And um, he survived, and I knew that, so that helped <laughs> watching it. But um, I'm just looking for... Some, a something. Maybe, look at this. Maybe this little part, that one, could be good. Let's try it. Um, because, let's see, I'll take these out for a minute. Oh, I was thinking there was only over here. But, maybe we'll just, we'll just put that right in there. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was uh, James Franco starred in it. He was really good. I mean, he did an excellent job, I thought, of acting in it. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Can I? Yep. Just bound and determined to use this little part right here. Okay. Okay, so I had her peeking out of here. And this one peeking out of here. Okay. We're on the second half of the signature, so we're doing we're doing well. That one again takes up most of the page, but if I take that out. I don't want to take that out. It's too hard. Um, by the way, these wonderful tags with the um, real live pressed flowers in them are from Bookshop Shelley. I couldn't remember when I did the flip through of this. So, and that's that's a hand stitch by Gail Augustinelli. A little slow stitch one. Okay, so let's do. Oh. Maybe we could do, yeah, we'll try this one. I, w I just want to have all sorts of different designs. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was, that was a watch we did the other night. And it was pretty good. Like I say, sometimes tough to watch, but... So last night we watched Addie's basketball game. We didn't drive to it. We're staying home and staying safe so that we can for sure get to our grandson's play because that is kind of having the lead in a play like that's probably kind of a once in a lifetime deal for him. I don't I don't know. Maybe he'll maybe he'll do it more times, but we just don't want to miss this time. <laughs> And so we're staying home so we don't catch any bugs. Okay, so then this goes back here. And we can let a little of that show. Okay. And that's it. Because, or no, I need to do this. There was one with roses that we haven't used yet. Where is that one? This one? Yeah, let's use it. <clears throat> and then I think I'm going to call this little journal done.
goes my husband clump clump up there. He just got back from Costco. Okay. Yeah, I think that's just fine. Put these pretty things in there. We've got a journaling card and this pretty tag tucked in that tuck spot. Okay. I do believe this baby is done now. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is get it all wound up here. can't remember. I don't think, oh, I haven't taken pictures of this yet. So, well, I need to take a picture with it closed, don't I? So, get it, get it tied up here. And then I can take pictures of it and get it in the shop here. So I did a double bow on this because I was real generous with the, with the seam binding. Okay, so all my, all my Kathy Holdens I'm going to need to put back in. Set them somewhere over here. Okay, then the next thing I wanted to do, do we have time? I don't even know. Oh yeah, we got lots of time. Okay, so my snippet bucket has about... It's about to overflow. So what I've decided to do is, do you remember the scrappy um, fabric scrap uh, cover that I made by putting down like muslin or something and putting all sorts of scraps of fabric on it and then putting the dissolvable embroidery stabilizer on it? I'll try and link the video below if I remember. Anywho... I thought it'd be fun to have one that's just all lace. That's what I was thinking. So I'm going to just take some of these pieces of lace and, and chop them. So that was, I mean, that was kind of my other thought today. Um, and you totally, uh, the more random the better on this. So um, that's kind of nice too and I'm sure I have like some itty bitty ones in here like there's that which is just teeny um this little lace can be used I'm not gonna do that um but there's there's a lot of pieces in here that are just that's I'm gonna let that go <laughs> um yeah like this piece right it's just it's, it's too much of a scrap. It just needs to, and I'd like to have, you know, cream colored white, all, all colors kind of. Okay. I think I'll save that one. That one can be used for something. But I thought I'd start this box. I don't know that I'll have enough to do right away. But I need to, I need to um, get this box under a little more control because it's it was driving me crazy. These this little satin, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in once in a while. A little piece, that's a good piece. The white and cream fabrics, I think I'm gonna throw a couple of those in there, in amongst the lace. Okay, so here's a great piece. Can just be cut in half. Let's see. These little daisies can be... These are fine. Here's a little piece that just jumped right in there. <laughs> All on its own. Um, yeah, that's going to be hard to use. It's all tangled up in strings. 
yeah, this box is driving me bonkers. So I'm going to go three, three, three down this, and we're going to throw it in the box. It's all wrinkly, which is fine on the cover, which isn't great when you're trying to put it in a journal. Here's a little piece of pink. And now I have a little piece of pink and a little piece of blue. There's this, which is, I mean, I don't even know. I'm just going to throw that in. That's a better piece. Um, a piece of... This is um, quilting, but I'm still going to do it. Ooh, I think it's going to be pretty. Like, look at that piece. That is a perfect piece to just throw in there. Um, that's a good one. Different color, kind of. This I don't mind putting in there. So kind of the first stage of this project is just getting getting all your bits cut. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Yeah. That's a pretty good size piece. I think I'll keep that. But this one can go. I have some random laces over on my other table too that it was like I don't they don't fit in the category, really. This is some more of that silk. So there's more there that I can add. I'm going to go ahead and let this go because I think I have more of it. Let's cut it in half and then chop it. Even this netty part, I'm going to keep that because that just adds a whole you know, another texture to it. Try not to snip my finger. There we go. Okay, uh, what else do we have? This little one, again, it's all, it's all wrinkly. It's hard to work with. Just a bit. Um, that's a good piece still. This would be good. Some a little bit of eyelet. Sounds like my husband's in the dining room. He's got all the tax stuff all over the um, table, and he doesn't want to do it. He's just like, I don't want to. I'm like, oh, I know. That's a good piece. That's a good piece. I don't want to cut that up. This I have a gajillion pieces of. Similar lace to this, so... I'll just do that and cut those in half. There we go. Great. We're making progress. Here's one. I can throw that in. This I'm going to go ahead and chop and put in there. Maybe I'll, yeah, leave that attached. Ooh, this is really thin antique lace. That's pretty. We better keep that. This is really just kind of what would you call it? Um, seam binding ish and not a super fan of it. So, oh, geez, my finger was in there. I'll try, <laughs> try not to amputate a finger on camera. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay. Am I making any progress? Oh, here's some. Oh, that's a pretty good size piece of seam binding. I better leave that. That's a good piece. 
all these things with with the fuzzies are bugging me this is sorry silk maybe we'll chop a few pieces of that okay oh I think this is going to be pretty I do get sidetracked with um, I do get sidetracked with covers have you noticed? <laughs> I enjoy a cover. Let's see. Did I decide the, this one too? Oh, you know what it is? It's from the um, Sorry Silk, I think. That's okay. There's this little piece, but I don't think I want the brown in there, so I'm going to leave it. Oh, here's a little piece. This is an interesting little piece of lace here um, here's a little, little piece we can sacrifice for the cover um, this is too dark and it's too big the bigger ones I just as soon use What's this it's a little bitty there and I think a little bitty there little bitty there let's just go ahead and cut this about in half and put that in there don't want anything with sequins particularly okay What's this little pink piece oh good little pink piece this is good bigger pieces. Let's chop this up. It's a little bit of a mixture between, you know, Hobby Lobby type laces and yeah, there's a little of everything here. Oh, let's make those smaller. Okay. Um, a piece of tatting, throw that in. This is nope. Don't want the pearls. Let's see what's this little piece of pink? Let's do it. Okay. I don't know. I think I've about got it because the rest is kind of, um, fabric. Here's one. The rest is kind of fabric. And then the ones that we don't want to use. I might use that bit. Let's use this bit. Here's a little piece of, that was a little piece of kind of antique lace. This is Hobby Lobby lace, I think. Okay, so then have I, <coughs> excuse me, have I worked it down a bit, a little bit. This is the one that goes right next to me in my drawer. So now the other thing I wanted to look at is, um, See, like I've got this piece hanging off of here. This is my little rings that hang on my cart behind me so that I can get a, just grab a snippet to um, uh, put for layering or something. So I could clean that up slightly as well. Hope this isn't too boring for you. Okay. Oh, this is going to be pretty when we get it done. Um, I also wanted to see, is there some pieces that I'd like to use 
That would be good for layering, but let's use a little piece of this stuff. And let's, I don't have anything like this. This is a neat piece. Because I want to be sure I have enough for my for my little cover. Okay, anything else in this one? Oh, I love that. I'm going to be sad when that's gone. Okay. Um, a couple more rings here to look at. All right, this one is little bitty scraps. Let's, let's, let's just cut that one off the ring and chop it up. It's a good kind of, it almost looks coffee dyed, but it's not, it's just old. Okay, let's see what else was on here. one, that one, um, well, it's got kind of green in it, so I don't want it. Okay, so that one's good. What do we have here? This is a neat piece. Maybe we'll just take a little snip of it. My sewing machine is not going to be happy. I can already tell. It's bumpy. <laughs> okay. I think we might. We might have it. Where are we? Got about 15 minutes left. Maybe a little bit of this pink. Yeah, let's do a little bit of the pink. Just. Okay, so preparation for another cover. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. We're getting there. We got a ways to go. <laughs> okay. So that's the rings. Um, I have. I have here. I have that. Might pull a little bit off of this. This was um, this was a dress that I found at. Oh gosh, was it? I can't remember if it was the thrift store or a garage sale that we went to when I was at my anaconda retreat, and I took it apart. That's where the some of that satin came from. And, um, so yeah, it was, uh, multi layers. And so it was fun to cut up and I, you know, paid $2 for it or something. Okay. All right. We're going to call that good. I think. Oh, and the one other thing I wanted to do, and let's see if we can get them cut real fast. Oh, I didn't pick out paper though. Let's grab some Tim Holtz. I'll grab some Tim Holtz. I don't know what I've got here. And um, this is the crowded attic one. I kind of wanted to try to do one of Carrie's um, matchbook pockets. Oh, that would actually be really good because that would be real neutral. Okay, let's try this. See if I can remember the measurements. I just watched it last night, one would think, but who knows. 
Okay, so I know we cut it four inches. And four inches. And then I think we cut off two and a half. Does that look right? Two and a half. Shoot, I can't remember how to do this. Okay, I'll have to look at it. We'll do it another day. Sorry, Carrie. I didn't have it in my brain, and I didn't write it down. Okay, what else do I have on my desk? Um, oh, let's look at this. No, because that's a series. I can't do that. Um, how about this? For a few minutes, we'll play with one of these, just for a few minutes. Um, I want to do one of these with butterflies. So let's, let's just see what we have here to play with. I was wondering, like these washi sticker butterflies, would you be able to kind of see through those? You kind of can, you can see, th let's, let's try it with those instead of the, um, the paper ones. Let's see, get down here. There's one. That one's got, that one's got more, like is this, this is just vellum. That's vellum. This is more washi sticker. I wonder if I have any more vellum ones in here. Probably, probably not. So, what would the sticker ones be like? I mean... I can, nope, I don't, I don't want that white, you know, let's see what we have of other ones. They can't be too wide of a wingspan. How about you? You would work. You're just right, in fact. There's one that would work. I'd sort of like to do a half a butterfly, but I don't want to cut one in half, really. Could do that. Okay. I've got a painty paper here. Let's use a little bit of that. Hmm. No. Let's do that. More like more like that. Now I feel like I need some book page or something. Um Let's just grab my, oh gosh, I've, I have a lot of things buried because of doing that project with the lace. I really do. It's just a disaster in here. But, you know, it's got to get worse before it gets better. When you're reorganizing, redoing, it's got to get worse first. Or so it seems with in my world. Yeah, like a little book page and then numbers and words and stuff. I'll tell you what, if I get this finished off, I will show it in the next video because we only have about 10 minutes. I don't know if I'll get it done, but we will definitely revisit so you can see. 
I love these so much. Oh goodness, my nose is itchy. I think I have a have a broken bang that's taken it. <laughs> oh, the broken bangs. Okay, I don't know. That one's kind of skinny. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, now what do I want to do? I think I think I'd like like a little bit just sticking out right there. So I'm right there, and maybe some like that. Okay, good start. I'm gonna stick them down. This has been a wacky video. Sorry, I haven't been more organized, you guys. I'm still seriously um, kind of recovering from my retreat. I feel like, um, oops, I feel like my, I don't know, I haven't quite, I haven't quite got my usual rhythm going, but we're going to start a new project here soon. We're going to start a start to finish journal and, um, Think tomorrow we're gonna start that and that's what's over there on my table and what I thought oh I could grab that nope I want to do a start to finish on it so I would I have that right there I don't know so yeah so there's that oh I guess I should maybe do these I kind of have these things sitting on my table all the time. I love them. We're gonna have to have a day where we do um, do a bit of ephemera making from the um, to-do bucket. Okay. We're gonna go for it here, peeps. Just gonna go for it. Glue things down. Commit. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that just happened. Sticky fingers. I'm not sure where I want that butterfly yet, but I do know I want these about here. So put those on, put those on and then decide where the butterflies are going to live. I really love using this painty paper. It's so fun. It's just... It's just unlike anything else you could use because you've made it one of a kind. Gosh, what a weird video. Marguerite Miller, <laughs> little stenciling, little lace cutting. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, you little dude. We're just going to get half of you pretty much. Sorry, I'm sure I'm out of frame. I just put him half on. Now these, I'm wondering, do I want them? I do like that one there. remember as well that we we have more stuff to add little signages and stuff I think I'm going to put him sideways like that in between kind of yeah 
can't in between. That's what I said. <laughs> Oops. Bent his antenna. Okay, so then we can cut off this half a butterfly. Hold your breath, butterfly. <laughs> oh, I'm deciding do I want to keep that? I think I do because it could be half of a fairy wing. You know, we could cut another one in half and who knows when we'll do that. We could. Do we want any of these? I might, I might put a clock right there. Or do I want flower? I like this flower. These are super fun though. And makes such beautiful ephemera. I just, I can't believe how it just, it just turns out so great. Okay. Oh, my husband just came down to see if I was done. It's lunchtime. He's ready for me to come up and have lunch. I think I'll put that one there. I'll put that one there and we'll call it a video. For today I'll if I'll try and get this finished this afternoon and then I'll show it to you next video before we get started on our blue Victorian journal okay guys well thanks for just hanging out with me today is basically what it was <laughs> so have a grateful day everybody we'll see you in the next video bye